Hey guys, Jeff Clark, Sorcerer's Apprentice. Um, I'm starting a new business challenge for myself, and I was inspired by um, recently I pulled some items out of my profit pile. Um, that, let me explain profit pile. You probably hear a lot of gurus like myself talk about our death pile, and I used to call it a death pile. And what we mean by that is stuff that we've bought to sell, but we haven't listed. And sometimes it sits for months or even years, okay? In my case, I have stuff that's been sitting here for, for a few years, all right? Um, so recently, I got some stuff that was really, really old and gave it to my new lister, and it turned out to be insanely profitable. So that kind of inspired me. Um, well, first of all, I, let me explain why I call it a profit pile. Uh, I decided I didn't want to speak death over my business. So I stopped calling it a death pile and started calling it a profit pile because that's what it is. It's a big pile of profit waiting there for you to list. Well, the problem is it doesn't make you any profit if you never list it, okay? I mean, if you just buy stuff and it sits around, all you've done is spend money, right? So anyway, like I said, I gave some to my new lister. It turned out to be crazy, crazy profitable. And that inspired me to start this challenge. Um, and the way the challenge is going to work is I'm going to do very limited sourcing until my profit pile is down to zero or almost zero. I'm calling it the zero profit pile challenge, okay, because that's my goal. Now, I don't expect to, you know, wipe out everything and have absolutely nothing to list, um, but I do want to get rid of the mounds of stuff that I have um, and get it listed, Okay. Uh, now, the downside to that is I know you guys like to watch my sourcing videos. You like to see the stuff that I get. Um, and, uh, you know, you like to hear me talk about how, where I got it, how I got it, why I got it, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to continue to do videos throughout my Zero Profit Pile Challenge. Um, but the nature of the videos is going to be I'm going to show you the stuff that I'm listing and we'll talk about it. We'll talk about how I'm listing it, where I'm listing it, uh, why I'm doing the things that I'm doing, maybe some tips and tricks about how to list it. I think it'll be kind of fun. For you guys, it's definitely going to be fun for me. It's definitely going to be profitable for me, right? And it should be educational for you guys, too. So, um, in the rest of this video, I'm going to show you some of the massive profit piles that I have sitting around that we're going to be going through, okay? So, let's start right here with this stuff. This is a pile of uh, miscellaneous. You know, this is garage sale, estate sale, auction stuff here, Um now, this is all separated out because I have a lister who really, really excels at doing um, kitchen stuff, home stuff. Um, so you see a lot of kitchen appliances here. You see a couple sewing machines. Um, there's some sewing patterns here, stuff like that. Uh, dishes, home decor. Um, so all this stuff here is waiting for my lister. Um, that, <laughs> that is all profit pile just sitting there. Uh, here's a little more over here. I have a different lister and uh, teaching him how to do electronics and stuff. So you can see record player there, a couple of printers, fax machine. And um, I'm not going to follow my listers around. Um, you know, I'll still give some of this to them, but I'm going to be doing some of this listing too so I can teach you guys. And I will pick out specific things to list to show you guys. That's a real-to-real -real player there with the, with the uh, covers off. Um, another record player, sewing machine. You can see I have some, I have some themes here, okay? A few typewriters there. Uh, Barbie, bake with me, oven, right? Got some 8-tracks here. There's some Pink Floyd and some Kiss and all kinds of stuff. Oh my gosh. Um, now, uh, not everything here is going to be listed, all right? Like this is a big box of videotapes that I picked up. Uh, it was probably part of an auction lot. No, in fact, I knew, I know it was part of an auction lot. Um, but most of this is probably just junk. I may keep a couple, you know, for testing VCRs, but most of that's just going to go to the trash. Here's an 8-track player. Got some book sets. Got a big box of camera stuff here. Got a banjo. <laughs> no kidding, a banjo. Another record player. You guys can see I got a lot of stuff here, Okay. Uh, vacuum cleaner, record player, typewriter. Yeah, I mean, you get the theme. You get the theme here. Over on this side, then, I've got, um, I got several boxes of these. These are kind of cool. Car manuals, more eight tracks. Man, I got a lot of eight tracks. Good grief. We got some reel to reels there. I've got some, some airplane manuals back there. Those are kind of cool. Bunch of slide carousels, uh, some photography equipment here. 
Hey, here's a bunch of posters. I don't even remember what's in here. I think some concert posters. We'll unroll those and, and see what's in there. Whole big box full of Betamax movies here. I don't even know if those will go. A um, bunch of McDonald's Happy Meal toys here. Wow. Got some 8mm movies here. I've done really well with uh, home movies in the past. Um, so those should be fun to do. Got some couple of radios here, clock radios and a telephone kind of thing. Um, this is pretty cool. Hang on. Okay, I needed a couple of hands to pull this out. This is some business ledger books from uh, Ball Band Uniroyal. And they used to be in Mishawaka. There's some more business paperwork and stuff in there. Um, I mean, I don't know if anyone's interested in this, but anytime I say that, somebody inevitably is, right? Bunch more stuff down here. There's a scanner, record player, old TV, a couple of fax machines there, um, old telephone. There's a big um, classroom projector here. I've got several uh, projector screens. Oh, my goodness. Huge printer back there. Um, I've got some... Uh, Wow, more cameras there, um, some vintage packages, and here, let me get over there and show you these. Got some vintage packages of cans of like oil, Quaker State, and STP. Just got those for like a buck at an auction. I don't know, again, I don't know if anyone's interested in those, but we'll find out. Um, got some slides, got another couple of cans of slides under this table. Um, I don't know if they do as well as 8mm movies. But we're going to find out. i got a whole box full of vintage bowling pins. I've got uh, several cases of cassettes here. I've been doing really good with cassettes lately. A couple of big amps back here. Got some vintage Kirby vacuum parts here. My lister just listed um, a couple of Kirbys that I had refurbished for a lot of money. And the parts do really well too. Vintage parts. Okay, uh, some of you know that I have a whole pile of kids. I have seven kids. We homeschooled all of them. My last one is 15, and so I'm doing a big purging of our book collection. So there's going to be a lot of books listed, right? Lots of them. Okay, still have a lot of records to go through. All these boxes underneath are all still full of records to go through. You guys know it's one of my favorite things. Um, we'll be definitely be talking about records. Okay, and last but not least, here is my storage unit. I got all kinds of stuff in here. Okay, this big industrial printer, that's actually listed, but it's the only thing in this room that is listed. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I got a lot more Projector screens, <laughs> look at those. Now, you guys may be scratching your head over those, but I've sold about a half dozen of those in the past. They went for some really good money. Um, oh, there's a little princess TV. Oh, that's so cute. That'll be fun to list. Got another antique vacuum here. Um, wow, more record players. There's a big uh, stereo console thing there, the cabinet. If I could turn that around. Oh, look, more eight tracks. Wow. Good grief. This here is a um, this is a karaoke machine. I've got a bunch of karaoke discs to go with it. Uh, good heavens. 16 millimeter reels. Oh, here. I've got probably 8 or 10 16 millimeter projectors in this room um, to list. Antique roller skates there. Another record player. A little TV. You guys know I love to sell TVs. Ooh, shop vac. I would keep that, but I've got a bunch of shop vacs already. Um, ooh, antique plane, that's kind of cool. Shelf, that's just for storage. Um, got some piano rolls there. Got some more uh, kitchen stuff here. Big roaster, that's kind of cool. Um, another antique vacuum, that might be another Kirby. I could probably take that. And, oh, it is a Kirby, I can see it right there. You guys can't see it because it's too dark, but I should probably get that uh, refurbished also. Oh, and I've got several boxes of 16mm um, film strips. Now, will they sell? I don't know. They were just part of a big lot. Um, but, you know, part of going through your profit pile is deciding what doesn't make you profit and just, you know, either putting it in goodwill or throwing it away. <laughs> I don't know. More electronics back there. A little TVs, coffee pot, record player. My gosh. Oh, this is going to be fun, you guys. There's a lot of stuff here, and I hope 
you enjoy this series as much as I do. So that is going to be the Zero Profit Pile Challenge, and it starts today. So, hey, leave me some comments and uh, let me know what you've got in your profit pile and if you're willing to join me on the Zero Profit Pile Challenge.